10 Strangest Things Found in the Ocean. More than 70% of our planet is covered in a large body of water that has yet to be fully explored. The ocean is one of the most important things this planet has to offer, being one of the primary sources driving weather, regulating temperature, and supporting all life as we know it. But to date, only 5% of the ocean has been explored, meaning that 95% of its depths have yet to be seen by the human eye. That leaves the question, what haven't we seen? What exactly is inhabiting the bottom of the ocean? While we can't know for sure, what we can talk about are some of the strangest things we've found exploring the ocean so far. These are the strangest things found in the ocean. Number 10, the ancient computer. During the 20th century, divers off the coast of the Greek island Antikythera stumbled across a strange clock-like machine within the wreckage of a cargo ship. Made entirely out of bronze and mounted to a wooden frame, divers quickly brought it to the surface. Aptly named the Antikythera Mechanism, there are over 2,000 characters inscribed on the device, and 95% of it has been translated by experts, although no official transcripts have been released. Believed to have been built in 87 BC and to have been lost in around 76 BC, Experts researching the device think that it was used to create calculations and predictions based on astronomy. Although no one seems to know exactly how this ended up in the ocean, this ancient Greek computer has mystified researchers so much that they have gone so far as to even try and recreate the machine to figure out how it works. Today, you can't even drop your phone in the water for a second without it completely malfunctioning. Number 9. An Underwater Train Graveyard Poor Thomas the Tank Engine. In New Jersey in 1985, archaeologists discovered two rare locomotive trains. The train's origins date back to the 1850s, and archaeologists believe that a storm is what caused the trains to end up 90 feet underwater. Since trains were not designed to, you know, float, they lay dormant under the sea for some odd years before being discovered, being preserved by the ocean life. The trains were the Planet Cast 222 models, and they're two of the only ones left as soon as the model was produced. It quickly became obsolete and out of fashion. Efforts to retrieve the sunken locomotives is still in effect to this day. Number 8. The RMS Republic Talk about a sunken treasure. The RMS Republic was a steam-powered ocean liner that was built in 1903. This 345-yard-long massive ship was used primarily to transport people from point A to point B. Nicknamed the Millionaire's Ship, the vessel held a majority of upper-class Americans at the time. The first launch of the RMS Republic was on February 26, 1903. The ship would sail until January 24, 1909, when the RMS Republic collided with the SS Florida while en route to Gibraltar from New York. Holding 745 passengers, including crew, the guests and crew were able to successfully organize and prepare to evacuate the ship. The RMS Republic is one of the first known ships in history to issue a CDQ distress signal. Six lives were lost from the collision of the two ships, and the rest lived to tell the tale. The coolest thing about the ship is that since upper-class people and precious cargo were often aboard the ship, some say that gold coins worth up to $5 billion are still in the wreckage. Efforts to recover the ship and its treasures have all come to a halt, seeing as the ship would fall apart if it moved at all. Looks like this loot will be lost at sea forever. Number 7. The Yonaguni Monument Discovered in 1987, these odd rectangular and cubic stone formations are one of the oddest aquatic mysteries in the world. Located off the coast of Yonaguni, an island belonging to the Ryukyu Islands in Japan, the spot was infamous in the winter for divers to discover hammerhead sharks. A man by the name of Kiyachiro Eratake, director of the Yonaguri Cho Tourism Association, noticed the monolithic steps. It wasn't too long after that that a group of scientists led by Masaki Kimura was asked to interpret the stone formations. Unfortunately, there was no answer as to how the stones got there or how they got to be that way. The question of whether or not the structure was man-made or naturally made still floats around the minds of many wanting to know where they came from. The Japanese Agency for Cultural Affairs and the government of Okinawa Prefecture do not recognize the stones as important cultural artifacts, and neither has carried out a research or preservation work on the site. Number 6. The Ghost Fleet Chuk Lagoon, located in the Caroline Islands, served as the main base of operations for the Japanese Imperial Fleet. Airstrips, seaplane bases, torpedo boat stations, submarine repair shops, a communication station, and radar station were scattered across the heavily fortified island. A total of over 45,000 men inhabited the island awaiting deployment. In 1944, the Allies launched a three-day airstrike on the island, completely obliterating the base. With 12 Japanese warships and 32 merchant ships, the station quickly became known as the biggest graveyard of ships in the world. 
Years later, the lagoon became a hotspot for deep sea divers to examine the remains of the past, mostly consisting of still intact ships. Within the ship's hulls, there are the remnants of tanks, fighter planes, bulldozers, cars, motorcycles, torpedoes, and other larger weapons. While many artifacts have been found in the ships littered across the sea floor, a majority of the findings were the remains of the Japanese soldiers still inside the ships and heavy machinery. While most of the remains have been removed, finding one isn't too uncommon. Number 5. Underwater Crop Circles You would think that being underwater means you're safe from aliens. Sorry science fans, not even sand underwater is safe from the crop circle treatment. Around 1995, divers noticed a particularly strange circular design on the seafloor. As they kept appearing, more and more questions kept popping up. How were they getting there? Who was putting them there? How were they so neat and designed so spectacularly? The answer is cuter than an alien species living in the depths of the ocean. It turns out that a species of pufferfish is responsible for the intricately designed circles. Used for a mating ritual, male pufferfish will create these designs to attract females. These designs can take days, maybe even weeks, to complete. Using shells and more fine grains of sand to decorate the circle, the pufferfish hopes to create a spectacle that will wow and impress a female. After they mate, the male is left with the babies for a couple of days, and the artwork acts as a nest. Then it's off to create another amazing work of art. If there's anything to learn from this, ladies, if a man doesn't create an intricately designed circle of sand for you, he's not worth your time. Number 4. The Great Blue Hole No, we are not making this one up. Found off the coast of Belize, this gigantic submarine sinkhole is something you'd never thought could have existed on this planet. Spanning over 1,043 feet across and 407 feet deep, this sinkhole is something you'd have to see to believe. Researchers believe that this massive hole was once a cave during the Ice Age that had flooded once the ocean's water level started to rise. While a scientific marvel, there are recreational scuba divers as well as guided scuba tours of this giant underwater cavern. Number 3. The Kraken this legendary mythical creature is every pirate's worst nightmare. This mythological monstrosity is supposedly a giant squid that lives off the coast of Norway and Greenland. Being described as 40 to 50 feet in length, the kraken is known to have been able to take down entire ships and fleets with just a swipe of its tentacle. Although there are now connections to the kraken being an over-dramatized giant squid, we're still not so sure it's all entirely fake. The ocean is a large place with very deep, deep waters. Who knows what could be lurking down in the depths? If it turns out to be a kraken, we're not even sure Johnny Depp could help us out with this one. Number 2. Jurassic Microbes In 2012, scientists discovered microbes on the ocean floor that have been on this planet for over 86 million years, dating back to the Jurassic era. The thing is, these microbes are living at just the bare minimum to keep their DNA intact and their proteins functioning. Not only does this prove that our knowledge of prokaryotes is far from ever being complete, it also begs the question, how are these microbes living? Now, we're not claiming to be scientists here at Taltanic, but we're pretty sure that 86 million years is a long time for anything to be alive, much less a couple of microbes. With no other viable thoughts and solutions, many claim that this is the first contact we have with alien life forms. Believing that since no other life could survive at the bottom of the ocean where very little energy is found or output, where are they getting it from? And could these microbes survive in space as well? Number 1. Apollo Rocket Engines We're thinking the same thing you are. Why would anyone want a bunch of old rocket engines? Well, it was assumed that once the infamous rocket that made it to the moon named the Apollo 11 crashed back into the water, the engines were lost at sea forever. However, during the year 2013, Amazon founder and CEO Jeff Bezos decided to hunt the lost rocket engines down. In March of 2013, parts of the two massive space engines that were once deemed lost forever were now found and recovered thanks to the CEO. Once recovered, Bezos gave it to the team at the Kansas Cosmosphere to conserve the parts. The recovered pieces now sit at the Kansas Cosmosphere's Spaceworks Observation Gallery for all to see. Do you believe that there is a kraken in our oceans hiding? Do you think we'll ever recover the gold from the RMS Republic? Is there anything we missed on our list of the strangest things found in the ocean? If so, let us know by leaving a comment. Also, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to Taltanic for new videos daily. Hit the bell next to the subscribe button to be notified when we post new videos. Thanks for watching.